At first glance, it might just seem like your basic newly installed drainage culvert. But this one's slightly different. We put in four years of planning and research before we undertook it. The drainage itself is an escape channel of sorts. One that's intended to benefit nature. The construction of the culvert was coordinated by Project Watershed and it's designed to significantly improve fish habitat. The advantages are we now have cool river water entering into the lagoon, which is going to re-oxygenate it and that's going to make it better habitat for juvenile fish, for juvenile salmon in particular, so that they can rear in this area. It also will allow them to be in here longer so that, and they'll have more refuge from predators and also they'll actually have an escape avenue. This particular culvert gets its funding from a federal, provincial and municipal partnership. We have people who have been working on habitat restoration uh, at multiple levels in this community for a, a long time. Uh, and we had uh, buy-in from the province, uh, the federal government and from the municipality. When you look at the fact that the federal government has contributed the lion's share of the, of the funds, the City of Courtney taxpayers contributed about a third of the project and uh, it's a project that will benefit all of us. We talked about the fact that it will benefit fish habitat, it will also benefit tourism, people who will come here to walk and it generally make the place much more livable. So the culvert and its escape channel can now help to restore the lagoon to its historical condition. In the Comox Valley, this is Franco Noviello.